began with a very simple idea of trying to conserve the river and bring improved awareness and education to the public. Initially it was about education and about awareness raising and as we got a bit further we realized that we couldn't rely on volunteers all the time to do the real drudge work and that is to try and keep it clean and so we started to pilot that project and eventually found private uh, investors who were willing to support us and have been incredibly faithful and have assisted to build this team of now about 10 people who work regularly uh, every day in fact on this river and do an amazing job. We are not looking for a fight, just that our ancestral land be left for our descendants to enjoy. We're here because we feel that part of our work uh, that we do is, is, is being taken for granted for about 25 years now. We've been doing restoration work, um, trying to improve the green space um, along the Lisbeck so that we can have people interacting with the Lisbeck and having kids actually coming in as an outdoor classroom and have the public enjoy it. With a lot of land that's been lost, that's natural within the Western Cape, the building or, or more construction or building of buildings along spaces like this that are green are inter interfering with um, the climate change impacts and so we believe that what is being done behind us is actually going against maybe some of the, the, the principles that, that and the things that we, we want to do with Venezuela. But how could they possibly understand what this means to what it means to us? They do nothing for the gathering of stars, only the applying of money and power to exploitation. What's going to happen here to this river, it's going to be turned into what's euphemistically called in engineering terms and in, in um, water sensitive design terms a sustainable urban drainage. They're going to cover over this river, fill it in and create a stormwater ditch as it were, a channel which is going to be accepting water from observatory. The protest is really about what we have objected to among many other things in this project. There are a number of sister groups um, that, that we partner with and when we work with them and their opinion is similar to, to ours. We basically don't want any development along with this thing because it's now interfering with the kind of work that we do. Um, I mean, for 25 years we've been massively trying to change the space that, that is not green and making it uh, more green and the hardening of it uh, just interferes and, and with our ideology. We're going to win this day in terms of both climate change and building cities that are water sensitive. We're going to have to work together and find those partners and at the moment uh, we're not getting any cooperation at all. That which is sacred to chair has again been stolen, been separated from the people who walked in it for a millennium. 